When we're working on the crazy projects that we do in the smugglers room, oftentimes I'm looking for strange angles or really precise measurements. And today I'm gonna to show you three things I use on almost every project that helps us be that much more accurate. And now it's time for some geekocation. What's up you awesome geeks? I'm Brian, this is The Smuggler's Room, and in this week's Geekication, I wanna take you through three tools that I use for measurements and precise work in the shop on our projects. And the first up, without a doubt, are digital calipers. Now you can get calipers in a lot of different models, shapes, and sizes. You can get them analog and you can get them digital. I use both. But digital comes in really handy because of the amount of work I do with the laser cutter or the 3D printer. Being able to get precise measurements makes all the difference in the world. The first example of the digital calipers, I can show you this two gang electrical box. And I'll use the digital calipers, setting them to zero, and then I can get a precise measurement down to the decimal of this particular box. I can take the number readout and I can transfer it to our computer and when I draw out the design, I can make sure that the outside edges are perfect and that all these mounting points on here line up exactly where they're supposed to so that I get a perfect fit. I can also use the digital calipers when I'm working with this project and I want to fit something like a hard drive motor precisely in a space. I can use the calipers to get a measurement of this back plate, transfer those exact dimensions to our software, so that way when I cut this out, I get a perfect fit for the piece I'm working with. That gives me the ability to make sure that all the little individual pieces that I might wanna add to a project like this all end up fitting exactly the way I want them to. Now, this is just one small example of how I use calipers. And there are so many others out there. People use them with machinist tools, uh, wooden or metal lathes, and so on. The list is pretty endless. I just wanted to show you how I use it to take a real world object, bring it into software, and then prepare that for use with our laser cutter or 3D printer. I'm telling you that calipers are one of those tools that will be invaluable in your shop. Next on my list is a digital protractor. This protractor will allow you to measure the angle automatically and give you the readout here on the display. I use this often on projects because a lot of our designs have strange angles. And to get the bevel cuts correct and to make sure that my pieces line up, I can use this to make sure that I'm always getting the exact angle I need. The last in this list of digital family items is a digital angle gauge. And this has a very specific use case for me. It's magnetic on the bottom, and I can set this against the saw blade on the table saw, and I rotate it to get the exact readout of the degree of angle I need it at. For example, I can take the digital protractor and this combined together to make sure I get the right cut. If, for example, on our protractor, I set this at 34.5, I can then take the magnetic digital angle finder and put it right on the blade and rotate that blade to the exact measurement I'm looking for. A great example of both of these tools being used together that we did recently was our massive paint booth build. The paint booth had multiple pieces of material, all with specific angles that had to be matched up almost exactly in order to pull off the look and make everything fit together. I was able to use the digital protractor along with the angle gauge on the table saw to get all of the beveled cuts and angle cuts exactly where I needed them to be so that the project looked uniform from left to right and top to bottom. And that's it my friends. We just wanted to share a few tools that we use all the time in our shop on our projects and hopefully you can find value in that and introduce them into your toolbox for your projects. As always, thank you for watching and keep building something out of nothing.